what is good YouTube was you here with a video on the Justice League movie so as you all know the reshoots are currently still going on I believe or they're just about to finish with Joss Whedon sadly he's taken over from Zack Snyder so within this video I've been contacted by someone and I've been sent some information about potentially what Joss Whedon has changed careful for major potential ending potential storylines just if you don't want to know anything about the, the kind of reshoot changing click off kick away from this video now but make sure you hit that like button so this is all rumored nothing is officially verified but the big changes go at this Lex Luthor has been entirely cut Henry Allen has been entirely cut. Deathstroke has been entirely cut. Darkseid has been entirely cut. So straight off the back, that's four massive changes. But like I said, we don't know if this is verified. The only issue now we have is when Justice League comes out in November, we will never see Zack Snyder's original vision. But because of all the videography and everything Zack Snyder did, he had to have had a say in the reshoots. So that's four massive bullet points already. Lex Luthor being out is kind of strange, seeing as Lex Luthor set this all up with Doomsday in the Batman vs Superman movie. Henry Allen being entirely out is very strange, seeing as we're getting a Flashpoint movie. That makes no sense. Deathstroke being out kind of makes sense because the Batman movie has been up in the air. It's been totally rewritten uh, with Matt Reeves sort of directing it. But being a massive Death, Deathstroke fan, I'm entirely annoyed. Dark Side has been cut. It's very strange seeing as within Batman vs Superman, the kind of nightmare sequence, they hinted that Dark Side was the main overall villain for the DC Extended Universe and Darkseid obviously being his cousin and working for him. And the nightmare scene is not going to be addressed, which seen as that's the massive buzz point, that's the popping point from Batman vs Superman, this makes no sense to me. So Wonder Woman is a present, is present when Stephen Wolf steals the Amazonian mother box from the Thamascora and the Vow's Revenge. This was included to set up Stephen Wolf's new death scene. Now, this seems very strange. It seems like Wonder Woman will be chasing Stephen Wolf across Earth, essentially. But it does look quite realistic if you go over the trailer and you see there's a massive fight scene with. Stephen Wolf and Wonder Woman, it does kind of add up. Then it says additional scenes of Alfred picking up Batman in Amnesty Bay after Aquaman rejects him. So we did see in the Comic Con trailer back in 2016 that Batman did reject him. So there are some interesting things. I would love to know what you guys think. If is it true? Is it not true? Additional scenes of Flash and Cyborg discussing their background on their way to the parademon's nest and developing a bond i mean this would make sense because the flash has no background henry allen's out of it so does that mean the whole henry allen in jail scene that we've seen in the initial trailer is out of the movie so next bit is quite interesting the harvester subplot was entirely added in reshoots reconstructing the third act which was originally just an alien invasion. So this is obviously very viable with the mother box storyline. So another interesting fact is Superman, this leak, if it is real, confirms that Superman is definitely coming back. Superman's subplot is altered. Rather than flee from Metropolis due to self-doubt, he, he goes to see Lois and Martha and let them know he's fine before immediately joining the battle, which kind of makes sense. Additional scenes of Superman meeting Alfred before heading to Venezuela. So everyone has speculated to accumulate that the whole kind of scene with Alfred saying, are you too late, was about Green Lantern. But according to this information, it's about Superman. And I did hear stories about Venezuela popping up all over the place. So it also says additional scenes of Superman saving Metropolis from the Harvester effects and reassuring the people that everyone will be fine. I mean, it does start to add up. 
and then there's some more information cyborg subplot is altered i mean they did confirm that he's had to do additional shoots so this could be true rather than having doubt himself rather than having doubt himself and be reassured by by batman it appears that Cyborg is going to be the one that actually rallies the league using his football metaphor that later inspires the name of the team, which is kind of interesting. But we do know we're getting a Cyborg movie at some point. Additional scenes of Cyborg talking with his dad, watching all football games together. So there are a hell of a lot of changes if this is actually real. And the biggest part of this is the next bit that's coming up. Stefan Wolf's demise is changed. Originally, he'd be beamed back to Apocalypse by Cyborg and executed by Darkseid for failing to conquer Earth. I mean, that would have been awesome. It would have been awesome just if we see in like Darkseid Amiga Beam. Anyone that's played Injustice 2 knows how strong that Amiga Beam is. Now, Wonder Woman will punch him into the Harvester Beam and basically kill him. So, guys... Do you think this leak is real? I mean, a lot of it, there's a lot of factual evidence. There's a lot of kind of scenes that look like they've been set up in the trailer. I'm not too sure whether this is 100% real, but I like to report all things Justice League news based. I did give a spoiler warning, so it's not my fault. If you listen to this video and you think I've ruined the movie for you, like I said, it's not all factually true. There is a lot more information, but I'm just going to go over the kind of the main bullet points. Um, there's a few bits I don't really kind of believe. Um, Bruce doesn't recruit Aquaman in Amsterdam Bay in the movie. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure if that's exactly where he's going to recruit him. There's another, there's a, there's a few kind of inconsistency what I was saying, but the Venezuela, it popped up with a Funko Pop, kind of how Superman returns. Uh, Lex Luthor not being in the movie is absolutely ludicrous. Seeing as he technically set everything up with a doomsday kind of storyline versus Batman versus Superman. Henry Allen not being in it is a kind of what's going on. Deathstroke not being in it is kind of, Okay, it's not that much bigger deal, but it is kind of disappointing. Dark side not being in the in the movie is a big one, and the nightmare scene not being addressed is an even bigger movie. Seen as we had the Flash going to Batman saying Lois is key to everything, and that kind of thing. So really interested, guys, into what you think about this potential plot leak. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you want to. I'll catch you in another video. Catch ya. Later.